Welcome to the Python exercises number 3. So let's see the Python exercise 3 question. So here is the question for you. How would you use Python to open an external program or application? So our focus is to open external program or application. For example, opening a notepad, open a calculator, open a Google Chrome. So how to do that? Let's see in Python. For this, you'll be importing a module called subprocess. Now, what is a subprocess model module and where it is located? You are going to understand. Now, subprocess module is actually will be available inside the library. So, where do you go for this library? Once you're in the C drive, click on the users on your username and then look for something called app data. Go to local and there is something called programs. I'll go inside this and this Python and then I see Python 311 and there is something called library and inside that you will find various modules for example random.py or let's say subprocess.py so these are the modules simply I can call and start using in Python now let's see how I can use it for this I will use the subprocess dot there is something called program open or p open do you see p open so I'll be using program open and then I'm going to type something here. Let's say notepad.exe I would like to open. So I will say notepad.exe. Now remember one thing when you are putting a string or the notepad exe you have to put it either in a single quote or a double quote and that should be fine. Let's save it and let's do a F5. Okay so you can see on my screen the notepad has opened. What if I would like to open calculator? All you have to do simply replace this with CALC calculator. Now I'm going to save it and do a execute. And you can see in some time the calculator has opened for me. Got it? So I got the calculator. Now the next thing that I would like to do, let's say I would like to open Chrome. Can I do like this? Remove it. And simply say chrome.exe save and f5 what's going to happen you can see I got an error it said file not found okay the system cannot find the file specified so it's not able to really do anything so all the Windows related application like notepad calculator all these things has opened pretty fine now for this one what I can do go to your search and simply type Chrome okay right click on this open file location and here there's a shortcuts available I will right click again on this open file location and here is the chrome.exe I am going to hold the shift key and right click on this I will get something called copy as path I'll go back to the python shell and here I am going to replace with the path that I copied got it so let's do a save and do a f5 and you can see the chrome has opened here do you see the chrome has opened here so this is the simple way to open an external application or program let's understand one more method around the subprocess module so the subprocess module has another method called run so what is this run and how it is different from the program open or p open method okay so here i'm using the run method and i'll be using let's say notepad.exe just to show you notepad.exe let me comment out this one now let's see how this is going to work i'm going to do a f5 and you can see the notepad has opened so what is the difference between the sub process dot p open program open and run is that when a when you are running a program open right it it works uh, in a asynchronous mode what is the meaning for example after this i have written few more commands okay i have written let's say few more commands now when you use a p open the chrome.exe might take 1 second it might take 10 seconds it might take 30 seconds depending on various different conditions in the system okay so now let's say you do not want to wait for the chrome.exe Chrome to finish. 
you want the other set of lines that you have in your script to continue to run right in such a case what you will do you will go for p open okay so p open can allow you to execute the rest set of instructions parallelly while it is waiting for chrome.exe now what would happen with the subprocess.run this will not allow you to execute the next line okay it will not allow you to execute the next line it will just wait here until the specific application has completely opened up and re responding right then you can process proceed with the next one this is something it doesn't it doesn't hold the program in this line it will allow the program to move on to the next line and start executing but right in the sub process run what would happen it will hold the execution here and then after it is completed then it will allow you to execute the rest set of the lines in your script so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content do not forget to subscribe to the channel and please do give it a like to this video thank you